<laughs> oh, he's angry! Angry! Give me a kiss! <laughs> I'm gonna lose a hand. <laughs> Today's Captain's Blog was brought to you by Laura Swink. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to the Geek Group. It's 1331 hours on November 20th. 2015, and I don't know, I'm having a day. There haven't been a couple blogs, I've been shooting blog, but I haven't had enough time to shoot anything worth showing people, so I'm hoping to fix that. There's people here, we have extra desks happening. Dogs in sweaters. She needed a sweater? Okay. Vicious attack dogs. So, we've had Bank Dude number two meeting so far. This is just this morning. We've had Bank Dude number two. We've had a meeting with the state. That was fun, the energy committee thing. Um, Another dog in a sweater. They're everywhere. Hi, Pico dog. Hi, Pico dog. You can't come in here. You'll get in trouble. Go, go play with the other kids. Batman's been sick for a couple days. Uh, he's, he's got like some kind of strange syphilitic thing going on. Um, what else do we have to... The building inspector had bank dude number two, had state meeting, had a job interview today. Um, they didn't get the job. And I think that's it. I don't know. It's been... Oh, and I had the MIT meeting this morning. That was the one I was like, oh, there's another one. Had a, had a meeting with MIT today, that was kind of fun. And my phone's ringing. Chris Bowden, can I help you? Hey, Bob, how you doing? I'll be back. Do, 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 do. Jerry's doing stuff with plastic. Windows. Let's see who else is doing stuff. I really know what the hell to have to... Oh, I should show you guys what's up on the computer. I tried to shoot video the other day, and I shot a good hour of hilarious, just the best blog ever recorded in the history of the world. I just didn't remember to hit the record button on the camera because sometimes I'm stupid. But here's the computer. It's happy. This drive is done. This drive is well done. This drive is toasted. That drive is fucked. Um, but this computer, which I can unplug this from now, and I can move this. These things, by the way, oh my god, if you work on computers, you probably own one of these. If you don't, you should own one of these. They are awesome. It's just a little USB SATA bay, and oh my god, I love it. I love it all day. I wonder what this is. Well, let's plug this in and find out. <laughs> Here, watch. I'll show you how it works. I'll just cram this in the nearest hole and turn on the computer and boot that up. Burp. I'm still having issues on boot. This thing apparently spins really slow or something. It's plugged in. It's working. You can see the fan is spinning. But frequently I get angry, angry noises out of the computer because the, I'm getting a, a CPU fan error. Now I've got four pin plug in the right spot. You can see CPU fan. Um, there's another one that says CPU OPT. I don't think I should put there. I think I should. I, I had it in CPU. Oh, oh, see? Oh, ah! Fan error! Fan error! I don't know what the hell it wants. But if I just control alt delete and reboot it, it uh, it's, it's okay. So, I don't know. Comment in, tell me what the hell. But only tell me what the hell if you actually know what the hell. Don't just be like, oh, it's it's because your computer is dumb. Eh. See, now it's cool. Now it's all happy. Oh, fuck you! God damn.
This is my life. All right, let's look into it together. It says press F1 to run setup. I'll press F1 to run setup, okay? So I'll take you through my thinking on this. So I'm gonna go into, now you can see CPU fan, 535 RPM, okay? Can I change this? No. Do I have any options? No. Okay, I got PCH fan, 3000, what is, I don't know what that is, but something's been at 3000 RPM. Okay, it's all standard, it's all cool. Let's go into advanced mode. Going into advanced mode, all right? So we'll go to monitor, because that's where the fans, I've been in here before, it's how I know this stuff. CPU fan speed, 566, okay? Hey, ignore monitor, let's ignore that, because I don't care. I care about the CPU temperature, which is at 96 Fahrenheit, okay, 35. But I don't care about the CPU fan speed, so we'll just ignore that. Save changes and reset. Okay, do it. Maybe now it'll be okay. Let's find out. Maybe it was that simple. Maybe you don't need, now I, I went in there before and I twiddled it and I changed it to don't yell at me unless it's under 500 because it spins down in the 500 range and it was set to 600 so it would bitch every now and then. I just figured, oh, I'll just kick it over when it boots and uh, it'll be back up to speed and she'll be okay. All right, so we're booting into Ubuntu. Ubuntu is my standard test operating system. It's, I find it to be very easy to install. Now watch this, see this? Hard drive, naked hard drive, right? I'll just put it in gentle. Boop, and you're down. Are we in? We're in. Make sure our plug's in good, okay. I find Ubuntu to be overall crazy easy to install on just about anything. You just boop, next, 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 finish, done, life's good. And I carry it on a thumb drive in my pocket. So, I know it isn't the best, most badass Linux out there, but you know, for just general romp and stomp and testing, works great. All right, so you'll see over here, we see the hard drive. There's, uh, there's two hard drives in this computer. There's this one, and there's this one. Uh, this is archives, this is OS, because I'm gonna, I haven't replaced it with a, when, when this is all done, I'll swap that out with a uh, solid state, and that'll be my, my OS drive. Maybe, I don't know, I might just leave it like it is because I'm cheap. All right, now, we boot this up. Now, if all goes well, we should see another drive appear right here. It'll be a little USB symbol because it thinks it's a USB drive. Well, it is. I wouldn't want to rush you now. That drive might be pooched. I don't know. Not seeing anything pop up. I should be seeing something pop up. We're, we're plugged in USB. We got a blue light, which means it's chooching. We got our USB here plugged in. It doesn't. It's sticking out an awful lot, though. Is that? No, that's in there. That's that's engaged. That drive might be dead, which would explain why that drive was just sitting on a bench. This drive works. See, we've got that, and we've got the computer drive, so that's happy. And, uh, yeah. So these are the three hard drives that came, that were in there. I had, uh, I had four one terabyte drives, and I copied them all. Like, I moved them, they're in a vault now. But I, <laughs> I copied them, but there's, there's the one left. That one's sketchy. Um, but the other three copied all into here, and everything I could get off of that are in here. So that's where this is at. And this drive does not appear to be doing anything, so let's turn it off. Powered up again. SATA, by the way, is hot swappable. At least in theory. Server guys will tell you about that. And given that it wasn't mounted or anything, then I wasn't worried about just... Okay. Oh, I want to thank Laura Swink, who is now a day sponsor. In fact, today's captain's blog was brought to you by Laura Swink and her weirdo kid. Um, and I want to thank Not An Artist, who kicked in on the Patreon. So, if you're interested in helping support the blogs and helping me make more and better blogs, then kick a buck. The link's down in the thing. 
Um, all of the Patreon has gone to fixing CCC computers, which is why, as you guys may have noticed, there have been a lot more live shows happening lately. Yeah, this is, this is fucked. Um, I've been doing some manner of live show pretty much every morning, and I'm working on getting them on in the evenings as well. Uh, there probably won't be one this evening because I have class tonight. But I'm working on making them happen more, and I'm pretty happy about that. I think this drive's fucked, too. What was it? Oh, man, that's really bad. If that drive's fucked, that's a 4 terabyte drive. All right, we're going to give this a little bit more of an opportunity because I don't, I don't want to just... Sh Hang on. Hang on. I got a theory. Let's try this out. I gotta put the camera down. I'm gonna set you guys over here. A moment. Okay. We're gonna try a theory here. I'm gonna take plug this in. Plug it the straight plug. I'm plugging in with a straight plug. And then I'm gonna find. Check out that hot spot ability. Okay, I'm just plug it into power. I'm just going to set it very, very safely, very securely, leaned up on its side against the computer. Now, so this drive isn't isn't giving us any love, right? I think at four terabytes, this is a brand new drive, and it's just never had any love yet. So let's go to G Party. Yeah, that's. Oh, look over there a minute. Okay, there. Um, so, G Parted's going to take a minute. Find its Chewy Center. Devices, SDA, SDB. No, I need another drive in there. Fresh devices. SDA, SDB. It's not here, because SDB is actually that one right there, that 4 terabyte. So I think I got a dead 4 terabyte drive. If Gparted won't see it, it's bad. It's real bad. Let's, let's try, just for, because 4 terabyte drive, you want to be really sure. Let's just totally shut down, and then we'll reboot and see if it sees it. Okay, we're totally shut down, fan is stopped. Hey, let's see if we get past our fan thing now, too. Is this one of those nifty motherboards with a button on the damn thing? Power buttons? I don't see one. Well, usually they're like down here or something. You have like a power button. You can do it with like a pair of pliers, short out the power button pins. No hurry, man. Just, you know, whatever. Uh oh! I see a second drive! I see a second drive! Do you see a second drive? I see a second drive. Archive. 4 terabyte. That would be it. What's on it? There's a Linux system on there. So I've got my computer hard drive, my archive hard drive, and then what appears to be a complete Linux system. Huh. How about that? Kind of dumb. Don't need it. Let's format it. Um... No name. No name. We'll name it clean for now. And we don't need to overwrite anything. We want it to be, it's already from ADXC4, which is good. Boom! Yes, I'm sure. Partition 2. Yeah, format that. 
Yeah. Look over there. Pay no attention to my password. Alright. Huh, all right, let's see what G-Parted tells us. Look over there. Okay, thank you. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Take your time. There you go. Okay. Devices. Ah, oh, now we see it. 3.6 terabytes. What's over here? What's over here? Why don't... Why don't we change that? Why can it only be 3.6 terabytes? Why can't I have multiple partitions? Can I have... Huh, all right. Um, won't let me delete that partition either. Won't let me add a new partition. Tell me about you. It's size is three point. Hmm. Because the hard drive said four terabytes. It says two point three three is used. Huh. Huh. This is 71 point. Okay, so that's a G part. Alright, that makes sense. Total capacity 3.9. Alright, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing I'm getting into a binary math thing there, and 4 terabytes isn't actually 4 terabytes, and, and, and all that jazz. So we'll see. Uh, it's working. I'm happy. So we're done with you. Thank you. You were awesome. You're a huge help. And I'm going to mount those two drives in there, in the cage, and this can get buttoned up and go into use. So yeah, next time you see that, it'll probably be installed in the CCC. So I got eight minutes to viewer mail. So let's go get that ready. Bad smells. Sorry. Bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> As long as you're learning, that's worth it. Ooh. Something, something got warm down there. Doug! Hi. You gonna come do viewer mail? Hey. I'll be back. You're gonna do viewer mail. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to the Geek Group. It is 1357 hours in time for viewer mail. I would like to thank... Oh, my God. Say. Maybe there's a note. Maybe there's a note. Pig towel, pig towel, pig towel, pig towel, pig towel, pig towel, and a note! Nope. And another note. Send a thank you note. You can learn more about your gift or can start a return here too. Doesn't say who sent it. Whoever you are, thank you for pig towels. And oh yeah, there's a more paper towels in there. And toilet paper from... doesn't say. Thank you for toilet paper. <laughs> so that's that. Other viewer mail. Hi. There's a dog in there. How you doing? Pico dog! Hi. You had a good day? Okay. He's just like I was in the box. How you doing? Hi. Hi. What? What? Oh my god, what? <laughs> he doesn't know how to kick down.
I, yeah, I think that might be too high of a Go that way. <laughs> So you know all those new sponsorship things we've been working on? We added 10 new sponsors last week alone. And today, I am happy to announce, Kitty is a sponsor. Not your mom's daughter. Kitty is a sponsor. So thank you, Kitty, who sent us smoke detectors. In fact, we have a lot of smoke detectors, and it's, I think it's kind of cool that the smoke detectors come with a big danger, danger sticker on them with flyer, fire, 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 because <laughs> they're lithium. So these are cool. These are the 10 year kitty smoke detectors, and they're kind of nifty. And thank you, kitty, for donating a bunch of them. So that's pretty cool. What else do we have? We have a... That feels weird. Oh, it's drugs! Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. I gotta do this first. This is from Danici. I have no idea how to open this. Oh, Should have yeah, a full cord. set. Balls! Ah! Be careful with it. Oh, it buried way the hell down. We need a few of those. That should go in the front office. <laughs> Yeah, you think? Okay. Bruce, make that happen. Yeah. Bruce is on it. We should be engraving these. I actually put that in every office I work in. We, we should be engraving those and selling them in the gift shop. We have drugs from Quinn's. By the way, Quinn's is about to go on vacation for a thing. Uh, check, I don't know, the last blog. Today was the last, Today day. Was the last day. Okay, don't order from Quinn's for a little while. Like, wait until after Thanksgiving and he'll get you sorted out. But don't, don't order from Quinn's today because they're, they're going, I don't know, they're going to Amsterdam Mexico. to tour the live sex shows. Okay, wow, that smells so good. We have, Paul has drugs. Paul has Greenville Grape, which smells really good. Quinn's Tobacco Blend and Blueberry Hill. Paul? Where's Paul? He's, he's working. He's downstairs working. Okay. Give this to Paul. Tell him you found his friends. See if he gets the joke. This is for KC, who gets Two Rivers Coffee and coffee. Eau Claire Bavarian Cream. Can I help you? God, you're weird. And then we got Jerry, who gets Caribbean Blue, Candy Clouds, are so good. Um, Pittsville Peach, Greenville Grape. Everybody gets a grape but me. I've got to try the grape. Fond du Lac French Vanilla. Where is Fond du Lac? Really? It's in Crap. Wisconsin. It's in Wisconsin. God, I have a bucket of things. Okay. I have pomegranate, blackberry menthol, blackberry menthol, blackberry menthol. Oh, and then uh, Scutterbotch, Sweet Tooth, and something called Ramchata Coffee. Ooh, that would be good. Uh, I don't know that, but I'll check it out. He said I'm supposed to look. <laughs> Damn you, Quinn! <laughs> Quinn sent me a message saying, look closely at the bottles when you get them. So I had a conversation with Quinn. No, hang on. I had a conversation with Quinn the other day about how the menthol level in the blackberry menthol was a little bit high, like it was roaching my throat. The but everything else was fine, just the blackberry menthol was messing me up a little bit. So he said, sure, no problem. Look at the labels when they come in. You gotta be able to read it. I'm working on it. Okay. So normally it says Blackberry Menthol, and then under that, Chris Bowden Signature Series. This says Blackberry Menthol, and then in fine text under it, Chris Bowden Pussified. <laughs> Fuck you, Quinn! 
I, I also enjoy how he labeled your bag. Oh, Capitan. <laughs> Quinsvape.com. Poke him and tell him he sucks. Uh, Quinn, thank you. Please let me know. I should talk here because you're going to watch this here. Quinn, let me know if you change the menthol levels in anything but just the black or the blackberry menthol because it was only the blackberry menthol that was messing with me. Pomegranate is glorious and awesome. And please send me a thing of that grape. I want to try that out. Thank you, sir. All right, that is viewer mail. That is everything. Thank you, everyone. And fuck you, Quinn. Chris Bowden pussified. You guys have fun. We'll be back after this. Quinn's Vape Supply is your source for high-quality e-cig products. At Quinn's, Quince. you'll find over 80 different flavors of e-liquids, from exotic fruit flavors to traditional tobacco flavors, and everything, everything in between. between. There's an e-liquid for everyone. Quinn's Quince. is also the exclusive supplier of the Chris Bowden Signature Series. Not sure which flavor's for you? Check out one of the Flavor Flights for a sampling of different flavors. All e-liquids have customizable nicotine. nicotine levels ranging from 0 to 24 milligrams, so you can control how much nicotine, nicotine you're vaping. Quinz is an authorized Inokin dealer, and they carry a variety of e-cigs and accessories. Quinz has everything you need to vape exactly how you like. Quinz Vape Supply is exclusively online, and they offer priority mail shipping for all domestic orders. So head on over to QuinzVapeSupply.com. That's Q-U-I-N-N-S, VapeSupply.com, and start vaping right today. Are you ready? I'm, I'm good. We're good. Okay. It's Brad Carter. We found it buried in the box. Thank you, Brad Carter in New Zealand. He's the guy who donated all the stuff. It was buried in the box, but I found it. I have your name. I have your ass. So, yes. Thank you, Brad. You rock. It's like, you know, a, maybe a 20 minute process, and I think you're on day two now, maybe three. I'm just wondering how long you intend on dry fucking that process. Maybe you are building the most artistic and aesthetically beautiful shelving in the history of the world? assistance on this process or you you just you're cool. I just want you to feel the love. That's all. Where it I'll feel your love. I'm just packing hard drives into an old computer. You guys are old drives. Uh, a little bit of new, a little bit of old. I just like to, you know. Keep things interesting. They just got a little too interesting when I couldn't find the screw. <laughs> but I'm okay now. It's gonna be all right, Colin. Just, just relax. This won't hurt or nothing. You're gonna be okay. Today is the final day of the CCC1 overhaul. I need to put this back in the box. Floppity hard drives. Careful. Here you go. Helping power system, active directory stuff. 
For what application? Well, a variety of different things. More importantly, trying to make sure that you can manage the lives of these machines. That'd be kind of cool. There's absolutely no fun having to run around and swat it constantly. What malware are we having issues with? Uh, is this internal to the lab? This is just the, this is mainly the public uh, machine. Uh, it's a machine shop for some reason. Machine shop? Which one? PC's computer or other ones? Uh, it's, you know how there's the four of them together? Yeah. There's the two Macs and the two PCs. What is getting malware and where is it coming from? I have no idea where it's coming from. That's the kind of question you should be able to answer. Uh, I want to know if this is people being stupid and installing stupid things. Well, there's lots of things that don't know. Okay. Yeah, people like open your brothers and things with their intelligence. I understand. Which is why one of the things the Active Directory stuff is going to do is remove admin. We're locking shit down tighter, is what you're telling me. Yeah, and it'll prevent people from doing stuff like trying to install stuff or... What are people installing? Because uh, if there's weird software installed on any computer in this building that has public access, mm -hmm. I reasonably expect that you guys can tell me what software it is and the date and time that it was installed so that we can cross-reference that with blue cherry data and say, oh look, this idiot is clicking yes to everything and now we have to remove their spleens. I can't think of any reason why you couldn't be able to do that. And I'm okay if on public machines, people have to actually use, like, what would be cool is if we had a way where people could use their Geek Group member ID to log into the computer. And then if they install stupid shit, we know exactly who did it easy. That'd be cool. Yeah, but then that would be a mix of the membership data stuff and active directory stuff. And... Moose doesn't like to share her data. I understand, and that is that is a fair point. We could, though, fairly easily create, you know, lab computer user accounts for on um, you know, someone join. That could be a thing that happens. That's, that's the direction we're trying to steer things in. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Tell, tell me about no. your feelings. Tell me about your feelings, Paul. Touch for the very first time. What? <laughs> very first time. He's never been touched. Well, he was he was touched once, but not so much touched by an angel, but touched with an anvil. I'm not allowed to touch him for a lot of reasons.
Fire it up, see what happens. Should probably have to initialize a drive or two, maybe, but we should be generally cool. It's quality cable right in there. Four. Smart status bad. Did I put? Oh shit! I put the drive back. Oh my god! I'm dumb. I put the bad drive back in the computer. I had a moment of. I wonder where this hard drive's from. <laughs> I see exactly which one it is. Balls. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, but I did it after I bolted everything. So, yeah, like it's it's back together. Ah, I think it's that one. Which would make it this wire, which would make it port four. Yeah, right. It's you. It's always you. You shouldn't worry about Paul judging you, given that his entire mission, his life, is to create as much fondue porn for the Rule, for th rule 34 forum as possible. He's the oh, world's cool. largest purveyor of fondue porn. The rule 34 forum? What the hell are you talking about? You know what Rule 34 is, right? No. You don't know what Rule 34 is? No, You're a computer professional. You live on the internet. And you don't know what Rule 34 is. Oh. No idea. Oh. 
oh my friend, are we about to venture down a dark, dark rabbit hole. <laughs> okay. Given that you're a big boy, and can be trusted with such things, I'm just going to recommend to you that you go to the place on the internet called Reddit. Yeah. And just do a search for Rule 34. Okay. Just there's, there's a lot of subreddits, I'm sure, that have Rule 34 in their name. Just, just run a search and see what you come across. Be careful. This rabbit hole goes deep. And there are things at the bottom that... There's no human to see, right? No, you've lived with Jessica. There's a bottom? There, well, there is that. But... You're going into territory that makes Jessica feel warm and fuzzy and comfortable, so for that you should be terrified. Okay? Yeah, just, I get that. Just prepare your anus and dive on in. Once you've got a then once you've got a handle on rule thirty four, you can you'll eventually get to its core. Get what? Rule thirty four has a core there. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> And then, fondue! Exactly! It's a self-fulfilling prophecy! I have just created the world's <laughs> largest purveyor of fondue porn. I have made the world tangibly a weirder place. My work here is done. I can die in peace. I don't even need that. I don't even need that. Now boot, bitch! Let's join the power man. <laughs> Do something. Do it. Do it. We fix the fan error, maybe? Huh? Are we past that? Maybe we pass the fan error. We're past the drive errors. What you gonna bitch about now, bro? What you got? Bring it. Bring it, bitch. Can't be good. Are you trying to boot from the wrong damn? Oh my god. I thought I formatted that drive. I don't. Damn it, boy. SATA 1 plugs into the drive that it did. Oh, shit! Okay, 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 my bad, bro. My bad. It's cool. It's cool. That was all me. It's gonna be okay. Remember that wire that we didn't need? Paul? Paul? Yes. Remember I said we don't even need that wire? Yeah. Turns out we do. Turns out that wire might have been the power feed to the boot drive. Kind of important. Why didn't you tell me that, Paul? I don't know. You're busy over there... Rock and melted Gouda. Okay. <laughs> it's like a nice Gouda. All right. I think I've run out of things to possibly fuck up in this computer. We may be there. I like me some nice monster. Don't ever say that. Am I in your way? No, you're I like a nice Gouda. <laughs> Oh god, the cheese related things that you are going to get in the mail in the next 24 hours. I just, I regret nothing. Jessica, you need to help me with this. <laughs> hey, it boots! Ship it!
Okay, so I have the boot drive and three extra drives. I, it's booted, so it sees that, and I see two extra drives. So I'm just going to look up in here. What do we got? Archive, clean, all right. Oh, there's a third drive in here. Let's find it. Oh, we're right over there. All right, come on. Just load it right up there. G parted. Oh, yeah. Hey. Okay. I'm going to say it's you. Yeah, unallocated. That would be it. Okay, so, uh, new partition. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, well, let's create a partition table. That sounds like fun. I can do AKES, Omega, BSD, DVH, GPT, Mac, MS-DOS, PC-98, Sun, or Loop. I'm going with the GPT. Which is probably a GNU partition table. Boom. Maximum. Fill it. Stuff it. Crank it. Rock it. Uh... Yeah, call it NAS, EXT4, okay, and do it, apply it, thank you. Okay, thank you. That was lovely. I appreciate your help here. Okay. And we're done here. Yeah. So, clean, nasty. Hey, there you are now. Can't open that. Can we? How do I format you from the dingus? Can I do that in Gparted? Can I format a drive in Gparted? Format 2. I would like... What's that do? Resize. No, no, I just want to format it. Device. Huh. Format 2. Format it. Okay, do that. Yeah. I thought we did that already. I think it just created the file system. It didn't format it. Ooh, there's details. What's the detail? Oh, damn it. It's done! It's, it's cool. All right. Uh, close out of that. You want me to do nothing with it? Huh. Let's go to system settings. Maybe there's something I can do. Anything in here for hard drives? I know there's a way to do this. Hey, Paul. What? How do I format this hard drive? Well, I formatted it in Gparted. Yeah. I gotta think it's mounted because it's here. It's it's here. It sees it. Okay. I'm just gonna reboot and see if that does it, which is usually the last thing you need to do in Linux, but hey, why the hell not? Restart and see what the hell happens. I'll be back when I get smarter than the computer. You would you would think like this is this is the GUI era of Linux. The shit just works most of the time, and in this particular instance, I'm missing something really stupid. And 
I don't know enough about this to do it right, but damn it, how hard can you be? He runs the chain. What? What? It's fine. What distribution are you using? Ubuntu. You use the G card to format a drive. Good work. Yeah. yeah. Format everything. Just give me a minute, I'll figure it out. Hey! I just had to reboot it. Now I'm in there. It's like, oh, hey, I have a hard drive. Cool. Okay, cool. How groovy is that? Uh, properties. It's got properties. Look at that. There's properties. Three terabytes of love. Yeah. Hey, I'm not the owner. What the hell? I'm not the owner. I'm total. I paid for you. I'm the owner. How do I become the owner of the drive? What? What is it saying the owner is currently? Does it? Can you write to it from where you are right now? Can you, like, put a file on there or anything? I'll find out. Change the owner's file does he do? I don't know about partition. We'll see what happens. I partitioned the drive. I should be the owner. You let me partition it, let me format it, let me put it in the box. If you didn't think I was the owner, you should have called the cops and been like, hey, this hard drive is stolen. <laughs> she freaked out or something. But no, it's like, hey, I'll let anybody stick it in there. Kind of like Paul. Said so restart your session. Nothing happened. Any day now, I wouldn't would want to rush you. I wouldn't want you to be uncomfortable. But get in the fucking car! Hey, I can use that. Cool. 
made the fans work and I made all the blinky lights come on. I'm cool. Alright, I have, I'm in the drive, and I can go to documents, do I have anything, oh, go on my home, there's stuff there, there's nothing in this computer, I think we need to download some pornography for <laughs> testing purposes, I <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find some good cheese pictures for you. Just Google cheese. I'm going to do a Google image search of cheese. Ooh, the cheese lady. <laughs> I just Googled cheese. The first thing that came up was the cheese lady at thecheeselady.net, who's in town, Paul. I found your woman. She's over on Fuller. Images for cheese. Let's look at more images. Oh, Paul, oh, look at this. I've even got cheese with holes in it for you. There's... <laughs> oh yeah, vegan cheese. I found, I found vegan cheese just for you. Saving the image as, and my downloads. Okay, I've saved a good cheese image just for you. Got nothing but love for you, Paul. Alright. So now I'm going to downloads. Hey, it's there. Copying my cheese picture. Hey, Paul. What? If I right click in this drive after copying a file, paste is grayed out, but I can open it in terminal unmount it or go to properties. So let's go to properties. Go in properties and I got permissions. It says you are not the owner. You cannot change these permissions. That's what it's telling me. Huh? I'm in Ubuntu. There's nothing under system settings for hard drives. Bluetooth, displays, Microsoft, network, power printer. There's nothing in here for drives. All settings. Nothing. Hey, there's a thing for disks. Go in there. Let's go to this one. Okay. Well, that's great, but you don't tell me anything. <laughs> hey, Brian. Uh, I got news for you. When I come down here with news, it's never good. We need a phone in the records room. Hey Matt, how do you acquire ownership of a hard drive under Ubuntu? I do not know, I do not use Ubuntu. You have failed me, Matt. Before that, there will be punishment. However, uh, I know how to acquire ownership of one with a screwdriver. Yes, <laughs> or a credit card. I'm good at that. But yeah, those are. Those see are that drive? Good. Okay, right there, a three terabyte yeah. volume. Okay, I can click that. I can go in there. I can open the drive in terminal apparently, which is awesome. Maybe I can chone it. Um, I, can, I can unmount it. I can tell you its properties. But if I go to permissions, you are not the owner! You cannot change these permissions! It also won't let me paste things owner in the damn root. drive. Do you have root? I have root! I am root! You are root. I am root! Owner's root. It's probably one of those lockouts. I'm doing something root. stupid! No, it's probably one of those things where it locks the administrator out of doing things so that they won't accidentally do them and you have to give yourself permission yeah, to do it. This is why I like Debian. But because you have fuck you, give me root! <laughs> but you have the ability, like Windows does it all the time. Like, yeah, if you're yeah, a Windows yeah. administrator, there's one. Yeah, but I can't right click run as administrator in this. It's that easy. Somewhere in here, it's that easy. I just don't know it. 
And it's his fault. It's his fault that I can't do this. Because he said to run Debian. Huh? No, he told me to install Ubuntu. He's like, fuck that Debian shit, man. That's for tags. You got to put, put in Ubuntu. Ubuntu is what all the cool kids are using. So I put in Ubuntu, and now I can't do shit. Okay. So you can't get to your 3 gig. I'm tempted to just nuke this bitch and put in Gen 2. Like a man. Like a real yeah. BSD. No. Gen 2. I know. Gen 2. You're going to be a Gen man. Gen 2. Oh, BSD is way easier than Gen 2. Okay. Gen 2 was a really good idea 19 hours ago. That's, <laughs> that's Gen 2. See, you, you know, you know my pain. Yeah. See, there's, there's an old Facebook post I made like forever ago that was like, Gen 2 was a great idea 19 hours ago. That's, that's I'm accurate. still emerging from fucking stage one. That's, that's accurate. Yeah, Gen, Gen 2 is a text-based adventure game. If you win, you can use it in the internet. <laughs> Short of that, just fucking suffer. Is it still text-based internet? Gen 2? Yeah. Hey, you, oh yeah, you can do that. In fact, it's totally normal when what? installing Gen 2, especially if you're doing something hard like a stage. Oh yeah, like, like, like yeah, yeah, you'll use you'll use links to I go get shit. Yeah. yeah. I think you can use Gopher in there too. Does does is there or Kermit or one of those old Go Gopher and Kermit? I remember. I remember using. Gopher I had a Gen 2 set up, but the the problem with Gopher is that 99 percent of the time, what you'd go for was another Gopher. No, it's true, because you go for, you go, okay, go for the gopher at Purdue. Yeah. And then go for at Purdue, get me a file about robotics, because I put, you have a robotics program and I don't. I put Gen 2 on a Pentium 1 233 laptop. I did this in 2002, I think. You're still recovering. <laughs> I did this just because I wanted There's to see. There are meetings. I just wanted to see if it could be done. I did a stage one install. Uh, uh, yeah, and that thing compiled for like a week. It just, it just kept on going. But it was cool because it was so slow you could see it. You could like watch it go by. You had time to read things. And like, oh, from it, frame point, and it went for like a week. On a shitty old Dell laptop. Have you figured out how I can own this drive yet? Yeah, I can tell you here. Yeah? yeah? Okay. By yes, I can tell you here in a second, he means no, I haven't, but please don't kill oh, me. Oh, you need to email him pictures of cheese. Of cheese? Cheese. Just any kind of cheese. Kind Just of cheese. cheese pictures. Oh, he needs cheese pictures. So basically... And everybody watching the blog needs to send him cheese basically pictures. Basically, God, I get a nice piece of cheese at, at like... Grassfields Farm, of course. Okay, Grassfields Farm. Grassfield, Farm. best cheese in America comes from Grassfields Farms in Coopersville, Mission. Vermont, you can look them up. Cabot, Cheddar. What? <laughs> Cabot, Vermont Cheddar. Major corporate cheese. It's actually pretty good. Grassfields Farm comes from happy cows that I know. Okay. It's Luke's Farm. Okay. So, cool. we've been best friends since, well, yeah, not best so. friends, but we've been friends since, like, So that's where you go when you need good cheese. When I need good cheese, I go to Luke's Farm, because they make, it's all, like, the super, it's hoity, fucking, happy, healthy cheese, or, like, you know, it's, it's cows it's that wander around and buy and, and, yeah. And Martha's Vineyard, if, yeah. but before the market. Yeah, if, if you go to a Black Heron, they serve Grassfield's cheese. Right. So, yeah, it's like that. Okay. Luke's Farm. Hi, Luke. And I need to go there, take pictures of cheese, and send it to him. Yes. Does he need yes. the whole process of the cheese making? He may. Like cow he may. Faces well, he we have we butters. have made Paul the world's largest purveyor of Rule Thirty Four porn subset cheese. He does cheese porn. That's what Paul he, does. That's Paul. Paul does cheese porn. This he is his thing. Porn. Yeah. Like, did now did this start off with like Swiss cheese and a child or? I don't know. I don't know how it started. Yeah, it started with fondue, because it's warm. Oh. Yeah. He gets the burns that way, though. Oh, he's rugged. He's German. He's hardcore. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Paul. Instead of instead of Shiza porn, it's Kaisa porn. <laughs> it's Kaisa porn. The German word for cheese is Kaisa. So yeah. <laughs> Kaiser porn! We've invented a whole new type of porn! No, you can't say that to that camera because that camera will prove you wrong. 
on a place it's supposed to be a safe site. And you German, fucking German place. cheese porn. We have invented German it's, dungeon cheese somebody porn. Somebody else has invented this. No, no, I no. challenge the internet. We're looking for subsection A, and it exists somewhere already. And if it doesn't, Paul has to create it. German dungeon cheese porn is now a thing. You're first, welcome, first Internet. Of all, first of all, I bet it exists. Second of all, if someone were to make it, it would be you. Because you have the dungeon <laughs> and the cheese connection. And you would really love to well, make that it. is scary. I we have a sex dungeon know. and a cheese connection. We can hook this and up. We, and we actually know that you would really, really enjoy using your dungeon, your cheese connection, fondue, and porn all in AV's cameras stolen. In the That's cameras. my Saturday night right there. That's it. I'm done. I'm good. Paul, figure it out. I gotta go call about some cheese. <laughs> German. Oh, it's the the one. It's it's the three terabyte. It's that one. Did you figure it out? Yeah, but I'll need the password. Need the okay, I'll tell you the password. Okay. The the password is that. Oh, okay. Okay. Just, just that. This box is going to exist in the CCC specifically to serve media, so it's not a highly secure thing. German dungeon cheese port. Oh my God! This is this is a whole thing. This is a whole thing. I gotta call Luke. What in the hell? Ed must be back. Oh, I know, because I'm trying to pay you so that I can have oh, service in the right. world every possible way. And therefore, I can't, and then I can't have people. She was told that someone could overwrite things and she could pay over the phone. Yeah. Now the way you're saying, well, you can't do that, sorry, it sucks to be you. Oh, she's going to kill somebody. This is why I didn't make an online payment. Because it told me that. So the one person is going to pay for the phone. What are you doing? Now that's a hat. She's going to take a hostage anyway. Okay. This is terrible. <laughs> but it's what we do. Okay. It's better than the horrible mess we had last year. Yes. It doesn't look like we take trash bags. Don't say that much. Has she scared everybody out of the room? No, I'm not a terrible person. <laughs> Oh, they've been tried folding paper and yeah. I didn't even notice. We oh, God. <laughs> How many have they done? Not that many. Okay. Oh, by the way, all of you, we have a project and it is glorious. You, no. or you, quietly talk to Jessica. She'll have it. Get Paul's email address. Okay. Downstairs, Paul, computer it's, lab, Paul. It's cake 26 what is it? What is it? Cake 26. K A K E. Yes. K A K E 26. 26 at thegeekgroup.org. That'll okay. be an alias because that's okay. his username. Don't believe him. The cake is When alive. you're waiting on something or not otherwise actually doing not your job because you're all fundraising, so your job is very important, um, I encourage everybody to get online and look up interesting pictures of cheese and oh, email God. them to Paul. Get one down now. <laughs> this is why you came to my desk, all kinds of... <laughs> what have you two made? I have made the internet a slightly weirder place. Not only did I invent... You've heard of Shiza porn, right? Okay. Which is good, because I really didn't want to have to explain that. The German word for cheese is Käse. Instead of Shiza porn, we have invented... Kaiser porn. And Paul, in the computer lab, has been elected to be the world's largest creator of German dungeon cheese porn. So, this all I, makes sense. I am, see, I am recruiting the entire internet <laughs> I told you, to so send Paul bad. all of the pictures of cheese we like possibly sure. can. I'm imagining some, like, this baby Bella. <laughs> it, see, it just, it writes itself. It just writes itself. 
And and this no, is we, just... we can't have underage <laughs> cheese. <laughs> no, 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 no. She can have <laughs> Now there's a lot of cheese <laughs> corn, but there's also <laughs> wax corn. The color says we can't have underage corn. cheese. Huh? It's gotta be properly mature. It's gotta be aged cheese. Yes. Yeah, okay. How about that under you know, end up like Jared. And yeah, okay. What about mozzarella? <laughs> So, this is a thing, so now you all know the email address. Enjoy yourselves. Jerry, can you come show these lovely ladies the proper way to use the program? Um, first you gotta draw a star. You do not. <laughs> we need a young priest and an old priest. No, we no, need and a, a chicken. We need an infant and an old priest. <laughs> Hi, puppy. She doesn't feel good. She don't feel good. She doesn't feel good. What's She's wrong? Here, you, these will not come out. What's wrong, kiddo? Oh, here, like, Sure. Is it the dingle balls? Is it, is it the dingle balls? She has not oh, been her she was, she, was she was, and then she's just gone downhill from there. You know, you know, you know, you know. She had angry poops or any symptoms or anything? She's had an upset tummy, but it's not been bad. Has she been puking? No. How do you know she has an upset stomach? I just don't know if she has an upset stomach. She just is not her usual self. She's looking at everybody punky. Like somebody's wronged her. It's a party. <laughs> But her little nose is all dry. That's why she got a sweater. But we don't have any bacon. I will give her bacon. There's no bacon. In my car. I have a little. I keep doggy treats in my car. I thought you were out. I'll hook you up. Dog needs bacon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a vicious little bastard. What the hell are you doing? Brr. Brr. You're not that tough. It's the size of my dog's head. <laughs> Therefore, it makes it not a real deal. <laughs> 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 you want to just come over and take a big steaming shit on top of him, maybe. I think you could do that. Just come on over here and take a dump the size of a birthday cake on his head. Him as a chew toy, and it's okay. What are they doing with the the folder that slow? It's been picky. It's my phone ringing. It's Karen. She can wait. Oh, I'll answer. Oh, God. <laughs> Does it say Karen? Yep. Oh, I missed it. I'm calling her. Don't worry. I'm okay. Good. All right. Is it ringing? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just went beep, beep, beep. I don't know what. Yeah, because it's not ringing. It's an iPhone. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Karen. How you doing? <laughs> I'm Jerry. So I, uh, I got a question for you. Yeah. You ready? Oh God. Okay, so let's see if you can get this right. What has little balls and hangs down? Yeah. A bat. A bat. What has big balls and hangs up? <laughs> You're so mean. They're all done folding.
he's the Kaiser of Cape Horn. That's almost better than pilot light. You know what? She's not going to answer now. I wouldn't. This is what you get from the sexy cheese. Sexy cheese? Oh, no, there's, there's way worse. There's, there's much worse. There's so much. Oh my <laughs> Christ. She's calling back. What are you with the right? <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so uh, so what's up? How you doing? I'm I'm all right. Watching people assault a dinosaur. Just waiting to see how this ends. So. Uh, it's going all right. So I, uh, I have a question for you. Do you like cheese? <laughs> oh. She's never going to call me again. <laughs> yeah? A good, a good aged cheese. Cheese, really. man. Because we're, we're going to be making some cheese-related pornography. And, uh, and I'm looking for people. I don't know. All kinds of cheese. Whatever you're into. But we're going to be making cheese porn. And uh, I'm going to be looking for people. Bonus points if you grew up on a farm. Good, good farm chicks. Yeah. Okay. It it helps in making cheese porn. Authenticity is very important. Oh, okay. You should talk to that woman. You think so? I think, I think she's scarred I, for life now. I just picked up the phone with your word porn. Cheese. You like cheese. Do you guys need Mr. Bellatini? No. Are you sure? Because it looks dive. like you need Mr. J Bellatini. Huh? He's no style. Okay. Yeah. Stephen can fix it. It's what he does. That's the funny. Oh, it's you doing it. Hey, asshole. I know. Hi. I'll explain it later. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Fuck you. Look, the ninja peer is here. Hi. Did did you just do that? Did, oh, I can't yell. Moose is on the phone. God. Oh, I want to punish the dog, and I can't because Moose is on the phone. Mr. Bellatini to the front lobby, please. Mr. Bellatini to the front lobby. Dog pee. She made a puddle bigger than a little dog. She pees a lot. She's been acting weird today. She's, she's, she's having a rough day, so I'm and Moose is on the phone, so I can't let the dog. Hey. Help it, them. Help them, dinosaur, dad. There is fear and sadness. Okay. Do you like cheese? Okay. Do I like, like cheese? Yeah. <laughs> no, just do you like cheese? Don't answer. That's absolutely not on the Okay. where the cheese been. Lose a hand. <laughs> hey! Fuck you! <laughs> you done? You gonna be nice? I'll scratch your butt. See? All is forgiven if I'll scratch your ass. Scratch my ass. Ooh! You are such a slut for a butt scratch. Butt scratch! Butt scratch! Ooh, yeah! Digging that? I'm pretty sure this is illegal in some countries. Yeah. If you can't scratch the dog butt, the terrorists win. Ah! You better not. That's rough. What fuck? Did you fucking growl at me? <laughs> that was Texas. Get in there. Just, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, molesterate this dog. Ooh, 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 yeah. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> You're such a weird dog. Brian? Pico dog! Oh. P Somebody's making a gif at this. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know what, what, can I help you? Those go over the oh, lake. Those go over the lake. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know those were in there. So you can pick it up like a grocery bag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no chewing on me. Hi. I'm the nice guy. You're literally the perfect chew. I'm the nice guy. You chew on me and I'll let Elisa's make you into a chew toy. How about that? Elisa's got Mackie by the leg. Hi. How you doing? What? What? You got a ball. Take the ball. You want to be in a twat? Oh, you're probably in the twat. 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 We'll just, we'll just put this right here. I'm sure you won't mind. Aww. You just need one. You just need one. I know. It's a big world. You're a little dog. Don't, don't lick that. Now I got doggy finger breath. Now I got doggy finger breath. One more. Yay. Yeah. What? Okay. I can do that. Phone or blog? Hi, doggy finger breath. Just, you just need love. So vicious. Vicious dog. Are you done? No. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Come here. Yeah, chew on the chihuahua a little bit. Chihuahua chew toy! What? What? You just want to play with your ring. Throw the toy! Thank you.
Today's Captain's Blog was brought to you by Laura Swink.